Hi kids, how are you? So today we're going to talk about making a journal. I've made a couple of them. I want to show y'all how to do it. Well, mostly moms and kids. You can do it with your mom. This is a paper bag journal. And if you can see, none of the colors bleed onto the other page. And here's the crayon. So this is a journal that you can make with just paper bags and tape. Oh, and a scissors. That will save for a different video. This is a journal that you can just buy in the store. There we go. This is just plastic. I think it costs a dollar. And then your child can write in the journal. There's some awesome things that have been written. This is my example. You want them to draw an insect or whatever it is you want them to draw. Have them draw it. They might stay on task. They might not. And then ask them, tell me about your picture. And then write exactly what they say. And over time, you have a record of everything that they've drawn. You have a record of their pictures. You have a record of their language. <clears throat> and you can look and watch their progress as they learn to draw more. And you can also keep track of the activities that they've been doing in class or online. So uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to move the camera now. And we're going to look and see how to make some journals in case you don't want to go to Target and stand in line for half an hour to buy a plastic journal and you just want to get the job done. So also this uses recycled materials. So that too is fun. So first you need, here are the list of things that you'll need. This is a paper bag journal. That's kind of fun. I made it with just a cover to keep it sturdy. Here's the paper bag. Here's the paper. You're going to open and close it. Your child can decorate it. And look, it has handles so they can carry it around with them. And eh, it can be kind of fun when you go for a bug hunt. If you want to bring your journal or wherever you go to the beach and they want to draw in it, here you go. You have it right here. Maybe you could even make a little pocket for crayons. That's up to you. All right, so I'm going to put this on the side and I'm going to show you how to make it. So these are the things you need, paper bag, grocery bag, paper, glue, scissors, staples, and duct tape. So get all of your things together, your scissors, your tape, your glue, your paper bag, what else do we need? Oh, stapler. And your staple. I guess it's going to turn out. I just had it here. And we're going to get started. So, here it is. You want to take your paper. Doesn't matter. You decide how many sheets. I would say six because uh, they'll get tired of it and staple it. Might want to put a few staples. Then you take tape, I use duct tape because it's sturdy, pull it out so it's about the right length, cut it, you can always trim it, and you put it on the edges like this. Leave extra so that you can fold your paper over and put another cut on here. Then trim it, otherwise it's not going to open really well. And that part's ready. And if you want, you can just stop right here. This is a good enough journal. Kids can read it. You, and you can be done. Or if you want to get fancy and do some recy uh, recycling activity, you can move to the next step where you get your paper bag. So I'm going to push this over because we don't need it right now. Then I'm going to get out a paper bag. Here's the paper bag. So this is a double cut paper bag, which makes it easier. I mean a double, it's double from Trader Joe's. So, but you can get a bag, paper bag from anywhere. You just need four, or you need two. 
and you're going to make four sections. If you only have one, you can do it with one too. It doesn't have to be that sturdy. I just think it's better. It's good to have a paper bag like they have from Trader Joe's that has the handles. I don't know if you shop at Trader Joe's or not. Um, here. Cut the other side. I'm going to do that really quickly over here. I have found that children love to have journals and to write little books. Especially the children that are going into kindergarten. This is super fun for them. I'll, well, not all of them will want to do this, but a lot of them like to make little books. So, this is a good activity to increase their literacy. Journal writing is a very important thing for kindergarten, preschool, all the way through elementary school. All right, so. Um, obviously, I don't think you want to try to Joe's on the outside, so then take some glue. Oh, what's going on up there? And you want to glue. This, this is why you want two pages. The two pages together, and it also makes it really sturdy. And that's an act part of the activity. That your child can help you with. Smooth it down to the other side. And again, you want to make sure that they're facing together. The, the print is facing each other. Um, kids love to glue, so this is a fun part for them. And it's also good for them for following directions. So they could be watching the video and y'all could be making it with me. Alright. And smoothing it out. So if you notice, I have to push it down pretty hard. I probably could use a little bit better glue. Maybe the white glue would be better. We'll push it down a little more at this corner. Alright, there we go. Now. I have the two outside parts of my, the cover of my book. So I'm going to take my book and I'm going to put it so that this side, so the tape side, is here because I don't want to um, tape. I, I want to be able to carry my book around. All right, so I'm going to put a little line. And I know that that's where I want to cut. Now, this is the fun part, which you can put all four together and make one cut. If your child is doing it, you definitely want to give them a line to cut along. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be done. Save these because you can make another little book with that. Then you're going to take your book that you already made this. You're going to put it on the inside. There you go. And then here. And you're going to staple it again. I recommend lots of staples because this is for a little child. you got to pound it pretty good. Get it all the way through. And then I bet you can guess what's next. That's right. Then you need your tape. You want to measure the tape. Right here. Cut it. Make sure that you have it overlapping on the edges. So that you have this extra space. Fold it over. Boop. Boop. Uh oh. 
look what I did. Well, that's okay. So my outside of my journal has the Trader Joe's on it, which you probably don't want to do. And my inside is blank because Oh, I didn't glue it together right. That's why. Anyway, so now you have your journal. You can draw on this. You can draw on this. Maybe you want to make this the front cover. This is your front cover. You would open it this way because you can choose whichever cover you want. And then you can write in your journal. I would go through each page and smooth them down for my child or ask them to do it with you. That makes it much better for drawing and turning the pages. And then when you go out to look for your insects, ta-da! You can carry this around and a pencil and draw your pictures. Okay, thank you for making a journal with me. And I want to see some pictures of your journal. I'm going to do another video with a different kind of journal. All right, bye.